Hey, it's Don, the Auction Professor here. Today, we're going to talk about another Bolo item. This one, many people will just look at and walk right by it. It's vintage and new Tupperware. Now, with Tupperware, I've sold as much RA Tupperware as I have vintage Tupperware. So, you can do both in this item. New Tupperware sells very well, as does the vintage Tupperware, even oddball stuff. They even have toys and gun-related items in the Tupperware category. So, we're going to cut over there right now, and we're going to show you some Tupperware. This is Tupperware, the airtight plastic containers that keep good foods fresher, longer. Here's how. Put in the food, put on the patented Tupperware seal, then press down the center of the seal and lift a little at one side. Hear that whisper? That's Tupperware's airtight promise to keep foods flavor fresh. Okay, so this is Tupperware. These are the type of items that I would RA. I'm going to call out RA or collectible. Obviously, we'll just show you the difference. Tupperware does show up in clearance sections, mostly at department stores. I'll see it sometimes at auctions, sometimes even on fourth quarter markdowns occasionally. Usually Tupperware like this sells fairly well. Now you can look it up. There's a ton of different varieties and kinds. There's vintage ones. There's logoed ones. There's even Disney ones, which I've got some examples for. I find probably about equal amounts of RA material for FBA on Tupperware as I do on the vintage. So keep that in mind that it can go either way on this item. It's a really good item all the way across the board. Even little tiny pieces that I can pay a nickel maybe a quarter for at most at a garage sale, I can still flip like the salt and pepper shakers, which we'll show you on here in just a few moments. Uh, next one here is a set of vent and serve. Now, again, there's a ton of varieties of Tupperware. The, the fancier the color, the fancier the ornate the design, the better they usually are cost-wise. This is a decent one here. Again, you're not going to find these every day, but sometimes I run into these at places or at an auction, and it'll be a boxed set, never opened. Maybe I can't sell it on Amazon for, for every one I get, but they do sell, and they do sell very well, even on eBay, which is right here, of course. Now, here's a Hunter Green Modular Mates. This is a set someone had. There's damage to these. These are vintage. They're well used. Even says that up in here with some issues. Tupperware has a lifetime warranty. It's just like how Craftsman was before they changed it and all. Tupperware still has a lifetime policy, so you can send some of these back and get new lids for nothing. Either that or they'll replace the item. I've been dealing with Tupperware for geez, at least seven or eight years that we've sold um, this kind of stuff. So it's something I always look for. And most people, and I do mean most people, even at a garage sale, estate sale, will pass by the vintage Tupperware. They don't think it's worth anything. The minute they see Tupperware written on it, they pass it by and set it down. I see it all the time. Tupperware makes some nice stuff too, mind you. They've got some chef uh, series items too that go for some good money. I don't believe I have any in here. I'm mostly centering in on the containers and the mates and things along that line. You can see the price, $159.98. Now, this next item is what I find a lot at estate sales. The lids, you can usually tell the difference. These colors are typical 70s harvest colors, I guess is what, what you'd call them. Um, it probably was a line or something along that line. I just know that if it looks like this, you get it. You research it, you look it up, you punch in the colors, and then boom, you've got your, your listing information you need. Most all the Tupperware, you'll find a comp on eBay. Nowhere else is needed for this category. Obviously, if it's RA item or something like that, and you're doing Amazon uh, flips or something for FBA, look it all up. You've got, you've got the Amazon app. You can at least check it from there. Most of the Tupperware has a really low ranking, so it's a really good item to get. So in just, that's my opinion on it. I've sold a ton of, of it in new, old, and indifferent. It doesn't matter. Now here's another one, these canister sets. Um, it's just a perfect example. They've got a complete one, it looks like. Yeah, they have all the measures, the whole works. Usually like the funnels missing or the, the teaspoon and um, tablespoon measuring set and you just get the cups. Now, you can buy these and sell these separately as well. You don't need the whole set. The whole set obviously goes for a lot more money. Just a seven canister set goes for like 60 bucks, depending on the version. So this is 120 on this one. They spent 20 bucks, the, the buyer as well, on shipping. Now, here's another one. This is a bicentennial canister set. I believe this is vintage, and it's just never been used. Yeah, I would guess that would be the case on this one here. And they've got a couple of them, it looks like, or had a couple of them. There are new versions. They do recreate some of these. Believe it or not, there are a ton of people that only buy Tupperware for their household needs like this. And there's collectors of Tupperware that just have walls of Tupperware items. 
astonished or not, I'm never uh, shocked when somebody collects something like this because I know there's value in all this vintage stuff. Here's another one. This is a Harvest Sunset Orange. The color is, is why this is popular. Um, a lot of stuff use the same style of orange, and, and that's just like Fiesta Ware or something. It fits perfectly well in a Fiesta-styled kitchen. So it's a good good one here as well for the color-wise. 100 bucks on this. You want the lids, too. And most of the ones are um, like the same pattern you see on the lids. Those usually give it away that it's vintage on almost every one I've ever seen. Another canister set, same series. This is just a different color, and I'm not sure what yellow this would be, but this, again, is like the Fiesta yellow. It did sell for 100 bucks. Uh, next one here is the Modular Mates. These are made to stack, and you could switch the lid on any one of the same size opening on the top. This is a perfect one. This, it's a bulk set of eight. It sold for $94.60. Here's another vintage one. Now, let's see, what do they have the tags on? Yeah, they're just giving you the size dimensions. There was a ton of them. You could order these in a set from catalogs like Sears, JCPenney's, and then you could order add-ons to the set. So some versions, just like toys, believe it or not, just like toys, there are some versions of these canisters or containers or Tupperware that were only available from a catalog. And uh, believe it or not, Tupperware actually made many series of toys. They sold some of them actually through Avon, the toys anyway. I remember my mom having these little boxes, multicolored boxes that would snap up. And each box came with an animal inside. And they were Tupperware, which was really unique, I thought, as a kid. $80.99 on this one. Just a green set, $79.99. Again, there's not a lot to it. You've got to realize the difference between the old and the new. And again, look up the new as well. Not out of box. I wouldn't worry about selling too many of the new ones outside of the box. NOS is what you want for FBA or RA opportunities. That's just my opinion. This person had two of these. Now, with Tupperware, sometimes old NOS stocks show up. People will buy it. It'll set there or you'll run into a garage sale and somebody was a distributor or something and it'll have a bunch of these in their garage still wrapped in cello at the end. So, you know, I look for them in any way, shape or form I can find them. So, Next one here. Now, this is a real good set and I can't believe it went for so little. This is for cake slices. It's a big set too. It was for like a party wise party organizer, uh, 80 bucks. And it has a lazy Susan as well with it. It actually even has the brackets to mount it. So this was rather interesting. I personally thought 80 bucks basically on it. Tupperware comes in all shapes, all sizes. You can freeze it, stack it any which way. It won't leak or spill. Tupperware keeps aroma and flavor locked in. And because you can see what's inside, no more forgotten leftovers, just good, fresh planovers. The one way to buy Tupperware is a fun way. At a Tupperware home party, where you can see it demonstrated and order the Tupperware you need in fresh sun, sea, and sky colors. To find out about Tupperware parties, look in the yellow pages under housewares or plastics or write to Tupperware, Orlando, Florida. Stay tuned because later on we'll show you a beautiful gift that can be yours if you go to or have a Tupperware party between now and May 6th. Next one is a Tupperware pressure cooker. I find these at thrift stores occasionally. Most people think Tupperware, they throw it on the shelf and they price it really cheap. The last one of these I paid $3.99 for. I think I got like 45 bucks used, but it looked brand spanking new. This one, I believe they have the box, so it's 85. Just another set, um, basically, I believe, yeah, mini server, kids mini set. This is for like a kids like picnic uh, event. And there's a picnic basket, and I think I have it in here too, that these would have come in. This is $74.99. Another set, the clear ones go for a decent amount of money on these, just because when they were used a lot, they tended to discolor um, I know you can send them back with the lifetime warranty, but you're not going to get the same thing back. It's just not going to happen on these. Um, anyway, these are vintage, neat, unique item. Um, one's new, as it says. You can see it's still in the plastic, and that's literally how they were delivered, um, or you bought them at the store in a box or something. Here's a nice set, too. It doesn't have the teaspoons and tablespoons, but still 70 bucks. So you can see the smaller items on this are harder to come by, just like the accessories in a toy. 
Now here's the whole set, the, the kids picnic site, or a different version. This might be the, yeah, the hostess set here. There's three or four of these. You get them all set, ready to go. It would have everything built into it. You'd open the box and off you could go on a picnic. This is like a padded soft vinyl almost, the construction of these as well too. Now here's a gun case. Now believe it or not, they made a ton of gun cases. This is for a Glock. So keep an eye out. You can find these in bulk even I've seen at auctions where somebody was selling like 50 of these, whether it be a gun dealer or not. You know, look out for them. Most people miss this one here. They'll look at Tupperware, not realize what it is, just shove it on a shelf somewhere or have it in a garage sale or an auction or something. And it goes for almost nothing because they don't think it's anything. But it's a gun case for a Glock. And there's a couple other different versions of this as well. Next one here is another one of the Harvest Color sets, unused, 18 bid, 65 bucks. Goofy set, this is the Disney one that I was talking about. And there's a couple different versions of this. Anything they could do to make money, obviously they did. So this is another example of marketing. The green one, I remember the green one. My mom, I think, had this version. It didn't have the logos on them, but she had this same set when I was a kid. It is from the 70s blue version of that same set 45 the green is more popular this is probably one of the least popular colors that i've personally seen here's a toy from them again they did toys this is from the 80s but they made toys all the way back in the early 70s now this is the salt and pepper shaker that i always look for i'll sometimes find a couple of these at any basic um estate sale that i go to almost anyone i will find some of these and even the little tiny tupperware containers are good even the ones that are keychains and this one here i i had a set at our house my mom had them and i do run into these almost every estate sale i go to believe it or not and they're usually like a quarter 50 cents that's what they go for that's a legitimate price on these most of the salt and pepper shakers of this type of tupperware go for some good money these are solid white they're not see-through Next one here is a mini server set for kids. It's like a tea party set. It's just a cutesy little thing. It was at a bin for 45. They could have probably got probably another 20, 25 bucks out of it in my opinion. 75 bucks is about average what I would sell something like this for. Toys, they were interchangeable. The parts could be switched around. Typical example of their toys. There's mostly animals and things along this line. There's a logo of some kind on it if I remember right besides Tupperware. Uh, this, they have some wear as well, too. 45 bucks basically, on it. And the last one are the cafeteria trays. Now, I do find these still at Goodwill occasionally, or Salvation Army. These I find more than I find the mixing bowls in the, the containers, because people actually will buy the containers and still use them. Or those who know you can return them with a lifetime warranty will take them back, return them, and then sell them that way. So, anyway, that's what I have for you. Well, there you go. That's Tupperware. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend.